outside this morning. And here's where the rain is setting up right now. And this is moving at a pretty rapid rate of speed. Light rainfall now from Birmingham all the way down to Montgomery along Interstate 65. So even if you're getting up right now and maybe your commute won't start for another 30 minutes or an hour, if you do have travel plans along 65, just be aware that there will be some slippery spots there on the roadways. As we move our attention, this is all because of a very quickly moving low pressure system, and that's scooping up this Gulf moisture, but primarily it's providing the heaviest rainfall and even some isolated thunders really south of our viewing area, and that's going to be east of Montgomery moving into parts of Georgia here soon. Here's a look at the rain. Now let's track the leading edge of this as it's heading off to the north and to the east. If you live in Riverside, about a minute away from that little front line of light rain right there. Lincoln, about five minutes and about ten minutes until it gets to Munford. So again, we're tracking this light rain currently from Talladega back towards Vincent. As we move towards the Birmingham Metro, well, you are seeing the rain right now. And as we track this off to the north and to the east, about three minutes from Logan, Mar Logan Martin Lake, about ten minutes uh, there from Lincoln, and about 20 minutes, 30 minutes from Aniana, but a lot of this is very light rain. The heaviest rainfall is down to our south. Sycamore down towards Goodwater, seeing that heavy rain tracking off to the east. It should be in Chamber Springs in about seven minutes, Glades in about seven to ten minutes as well. But then, this isn't the only rain we're seeing today. If we move our attention back to the west, there's another line of showers moving through the Mississippi Delta. This will be impacting us late this morning through the early part of the afternoon. The Birmingham sky is right now covered up with with clouds and we're seeing the light rain now over the Magic City. Temperatures currently sitting at 70 degrees and it's a breezy start this morning. Winds out of the southeast at about 10 miles per hour. Upper 60s from Gadsden to Anniston, lower 70s from Pell City down to Peach Country. And these two systems that are going to provide active weather today, well, one of them is moving quickly along the panhandle of Florida now, where that secondary low that's going to provide us the other wave of rain later today, well, that still parked back to our west. Here's a look from 6:30 to about 8 o'clock this morning. Coverage of rain is going to be pretty decent for central and east Alabama. And then look at this: by 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, we'll actually see a good break in the rain, and that will head in through the noon hours. And then it only looks like a few isolated showers through late afternoon as the secondary boundary moves through, and that's going to provide a couple of isolated showers and storms. So here's what I'm looking at today: heavy rain, gusty winds, and really focusing on that morning commute, not necessarily the evening commute, although I am going to maintain some rogue showers in the forecast until about midnight overnight tonight. I think tomorrow is going to stay pretty dry. Our severe threat for today is low, and that means that that's why we're issuing the weather aware versus the alert, because I don't expect any of the storms today to really reach that severe criteria. Sunshine's back in time for the weekend, so any rain that holds off the golf game today, they'll easily be able to make that up either later today or through the weekend. That's a look at your storm track seven day forecast.